Um, and I do believe that we are ready yes. with somebody who sets the trend. Give it up for the trendsetter! So let me tell you why the trendsetters were going to transform and change the train of climate change and what we call the Internet of Energy. So all began when I traveled to India and I was studying there. And when you travel to India and to Delhi, they say, you know, you should go to the Taj Mahal, an amazing place. And you have been there or you haven't, but you say, oh, that should be a great place to go. But what happens? This is called, located in Uttar Pradesh. And then I met this guy who is Abhishek. Abhishek was a nice guy and he told me, come to my town. So we went just 10 miles from the Taj Mahal. We had amazing food and we found a terrible problem. What? They didn't have energy and they have health issues and they were coughing. And if you have been in India or not, you know that this is a big problem. And what was that? Because it was a coal factory that they had just in front of his house. So what is the problem here? In these regions that you see, 147 million people live there. And people like Abhishek are having these same problems. So India is trying to solve the problem and say, yes, we are not part of the problem. We want to be innovative in terms of solutions. But what kinds of solutions are we offering now? So the solutions is like, you can focus on the current system that they have gas, oil, and factories. And you can have a distribution system. But you have seen that it's not efficient enough. But the big problem is that it's causing a lot of CO2 emissions, billions of that. So it's not just about energy. It is about the health of every one of the citizens. So what we can do about this? If we keep on the same path, if we will pass from 2016 of 20 billion tons of CO2 to 2040, almost 100 billion. Imagine that. That's, that's scary. And we should do something now with the available technology. And that's what we try to think. How we can do the Internet of Energy. So we have two principles. The first one is modularity. It's how we can use existing technologies to help us build into existing environments. But second and most important is like local ownership. How you make communities like Abhishek's home to really start building their future. So let me show you how it works. It's just like a Lego. You start taking the available technologies because sometimes the current issues is like people can say, okay, what about if I just put energy in my town? Okay, you buy that. You put it into the town and it doesn't work. You need to fix it, then you have to call the engineer. Then you have wind, or then you have energy distribution, but you still have a lot of problems. What if we can start building a Lego system by model, so in each one of the towns will be totally different, and it's adaptable towards the new technologies that are currently happening. The second big principle is like the internet. So the internet works because we can transfer from one point to another. So maybe in the town of Abhishek, what happens is like you can capture energy from one point, you can distribute the energy in another, and you can storage in the other point. So in that way, we can start to create a new paradigm. And in this new paradigm, it works like this way. You have seen many towns that they work during the day in a factory that is located five miles from home, and then they go by night. So we are using an artificial intelligence system that recognizes where do you need energy and how, and then it just moves around. So how do we can do that? We're using nanotech, and especially we're focusing on new type of technologies that are more efficient. Second, the distribution is using AI, so it's available, the energy redistribution. And third, we're creating a network of communities around the country. And that's one of the key things. Normally, would you just focus, okay, you should put this solution here, but no. Here is like how you empower, how you take that local ownership. So if we keep this path, this is what will happen. So my real question for you all, and that's what the trendsetters are thinking, what if we start changing this? <laughs> what if we plant the seeds of communities that are empowered with the available technologies what if they take these Lego bricks and say, okay, what about if I teach from the school? Oh, I can put energy here, I can put solar, I can put wind. And I don't need to wait for 10 years to solve the problem. What if we start doing this, that will happen. We will change the trend of climate change. And people like Abhishek and his family 
will not have health issues because the Indian government will recognize that building more coal factories is not the solution. The solution, my friends, the solution that the trendsetters propose to you is the Internet of Energy. Thank you very much.